So I uh, went out to film this review, but then I found this little sweetie, and she's got some injuries, and so I'm uh, taking her to a vet. But I have no car, I have a skateboard, so I'm waiting for the vet to pick her up. Okay, thank you so much. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the eImage 761AT legs. And in this video, we're also gonna compare what I think are some of the most important specs on basically top of the range video tripods with 75 millimeter ball. So we have Chinese top of the range, and then I think these two are Italian. And then I'm also gonna be including Sacklo, which is kind of the same company as this, but I don't have the flow pod here to show you, so I'll try and get my hands on that soon, but I already know the specs of it. We're gonna compare the specs and see how this one does against tripods that cost around twice as much and around four to five times as much. And the prices can vary a little bit, but the Flowtech is a little cheaper than this. I will have links below to my full reviews about these. The specs I'm gonna talk about here, in my opinion, are the defining factors of whether you're gonna choose a tripod or not. So there's the price, how easy and fast it is to set up, how low it'll go, how high it'll go, and how heavy it is. In my opinion, the rest is secondary. So how nice the clips are and whether it's got straps and whatever. These are the aluminium version. And there is a carbon fiber version as well, which doesn't have the flip locks. It has twist locks, which is why I went for this one. I just don't like twist locks, but maybe some other people do, so that's fine. But I think they can actually make the carbon fiber version with the clip locks if enough people request it. So if that's something that you really want, just send them a message and maybe they'll do it. And here we have it with the E-Image GH06 head. And a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to review some of their flat mount heads. So I will be doing that soon. It is a tripod that's very comfortable to carry, but if I was traveling far and I wasn't going for a professional shoot, then I definitely wouldn't take these. <laughs> These pads also make it pretty comfortable to carry on your shoulder, although it's not the most comfortable thing. This foam is fairly stiff, it's not really intended as shoulder padding. Big rubber pads on all three legs, which make this a lot more comfortable to carry in the winter when metal gets really cold to the touch. Carbon fiber doesn't transfer heat like metal does, so very often you won't see this kind of foam on carbon fiber legs. Also because carbon fiber looks very pretty and they probably don't want to make it ugly with foam. This, by the way, is being filmed with the Yi 4K Plus, and I'm really hoping the audio comes out okay. And it's just strapped to my head with a thing that I made out of an old t-shirt and a sewing machine. Opening this tripod up is pretty simple. I would have liked if this had hard stops to prevent the legs from closing in further than they should, because then you might end up closing them sort of like this instead of like that. Not that it really makes a difference, and that's just this type of system where you have a sort of little adjusty thing and that sort of locks your leg into the height you want. And this does open up really, really nice and wide to go really low, and that's fantastic. So for example, if I wanted it to go all the way down to the ground, then I'll pull these three out and do something like that. And unlock the tripod head, and I'm good to go. And then you can see here we can get very close to the ground, which is fantastic. Okay, I am being destroyed by mosquitoes, so I'm leaving. So I'm uh, going somewhere with a little less mosquitoes and a little more not mosquitoes. What's the opposite of a mosquito? It's like a bear. Somewhere with more bears, that's where I'm going. Now this is the type of feet that I like. The ones that don't have any sort of swiveling type thing here, because I find that this actually holds onto most types of floor better because I find that when it has a big pad on here that can actually add more instability than stability and it can sometimes land on the pad being sideways and then you do have some spikes hidden in there if you need them but I pretty much never use spikes I just don't find that they're needed this sort of digs into dirt pretty well in my experience and I've never really needed to use spikes these mosquitoes man Apparently, I am absolutely delicious, so let's go this way. Oh, next to the kids' park with a camera. If I get arrested, I blame you guys. So opening this up is fairly straightforward. You just... It really helps when these things slide out on their own, which just makes it easier sometimes to close it back up. And same goes when opening it up. 
and I'm sure you guys have seen some of the new expensive special tripods that open up really really quickly in like a few seconds and this one doesn't do that which is fine it's it's okay and when you need a little extra height then you can bring the legs closer together which will bring it up even higher I don't really do sort of concerts and stuff so I don't really have to film above crowds very often and you can see there the difference that makes in height and there is a shorter version of this tripod which is only 2.2 kilograms carrying weight and it won't go as high as this one and the Manfrotto but it is as high as the two expensive ones. The leg locks are pretty decent too and then you can see here I can carry it like this and the bottom two are not sort of opening on their own. So when I'm holding on for dear life and twisting these as hard as I can then this one shows more flexibility. It's not anything that's going to affect the usability in 99% of situations. Of course, it is nice to have it super, super rigid like this one, but it doesn't have to be for most uses because in most situations you just don't have this much turning force applied to a tripod. So in my opinion, this is still fantastic for the price. So I'll be linking to my reviews about these two down below and hopefully I'll get the Sacra soon and do a really, really full in-depth review about that. As much as I'd love for my tripod to be able to open in like four to six seconds with one latch, like this and the Flowpod do, this is lighter and for me that is important and it's a little cheaper too. But then if this is the one that's in your budget, it, then this is fantastic. So my conclusion for the 7618 AT is that they are pretty damn nice tripod legs and if these are the legs that I had then I would be happy with them and of course you can spend more money on the carbon fiber version of the same legs or on a carbon fiber one from a different brand. For the price I think these are very good. So thanks for watching guys I hope you found this useful. If you want to support this channel then you can get yours from the links down below from Amazon, eBay or B&H and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!